Hi, welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. My name's Kirsten. So I'm just doing a bit more abstract art on the jelly plate. This wasn't the most vibrant or oh, interesting piece ever. However, I thought it was a lovely piece of home decor because the colours are quite harmonious. They're quite muted. It's not overly a focal point that's attention grabbing. I, do you know what? I would describe it as nice. It's nice. It's got lovely colours. And I, and I think it would be something that you could hang up and it would actually support a more, you know, a picture that's more of the focal point in the room. So I'm just starting off here with water-based oil pastels, which I like very much on the jelly plate because they do lift off in one go and they do add some vibrant colour. Um, but after a few layers, you know, they, can't, they are muted back by the acrylic paint. So I'm using... Um, some of the edges I'm doing two or three edges with. Some of the wee smaller squares I've just coloured in completely. Just try to do something a wee bit different. Um, so that is heavy body white acrylic paint with phthalo blue high flow paint. Um, I added in white there because I was going for a lovely pale blue and it came out more like <laughs> mid blue. <laughs> but anyway... So I'm using bubble wrap here as my kind of mark making. Um, I use that a few times. There we go. I think that was lovely just as it was. So although the water-based oil pastel stays on the jelly plate, it doesn't lift again and it does come off with baby oil. So that was heavy body white acrylic paint, some glazing medium so when I know that I'm going to work on top of the paint with stencils or with anything that's going to take any length of time I put some glazing medium in because it helps it stay wet for longer so I'm just using the green blue and yellow high flow acrylic paints to add in some sort of colour shading but subtly I'm sticking with fairly harmonious colours so that they do kind of um, work together. This is a palette knife that I am just scraping some areas of the paint off. And that is a scoring tool that's quite blunt at the end. It's got a little ball so it's not digging into the plate. Just making some nice shapes. You know, I wonder if it's the fact that I stuck with quite harmonious colours, actually. I wonder if that's why I feel that it wasn't that interesting. Because normally in the layers, I will kind of go from one extreme to the other because I know that they're drying in between. I like to ha use variation and be quite flamboyant, usually. <laughs> so, this, um, you know, holding back... It's, um, do you know, I didn't even realise that's what I was doing, but I think it is. I think that I've maybe been overthinking the jelly plate and because I'm trying new things out quite a lot. Oh, can I just explain this? That grey shadow lasts for about a minute because I have acetate stencils. I have acetate stencils and a piece of it's been stuck to the back of my phone camera. So that's why we have a grey area on the right hand side. And why I have sped these steps up so much. So I kept it in so you could see the steps. But I didn't actually leave. I took as much out as possible. So that the grey area is only on the video for about a minute. So I like to use different um, pieces that are have been laying about. So with the acetate sheets, um, they were just offcuts actually. And to me, they actually, this layer 
is the most interesting layer that I made on the jelly plate, um, you know, within this painting. And it's just a shame that grey shadow's there. <laughs> it's quite funny when I realise, actually. I really like the little skinny ones. Do I put another skinny one on? That one. And I think I'm actually going to make a lot more of them. And I've not cut them straight. I just cut them with scissors blind. Um, as in what felt straight to me. And I do think there actually could be a lot more interest. You know, you could use just those vertical strips in lots of different ways on the jelly plate. This makes a lovely um, kind of violet colour. The pink and the black. Sorry, it's red and black mixed together with the white paint. This also makes lovely um, lines. I've clearly noticed how good they were and thought, I'm just going to keep going with these. <laughs> Although I will say that the horseshoe shapes with the acetate stencils that I've made, the horseshoe shapes are my favourite. But I do need to use other shapes. Or if not, I'll just be the person that makes horseshoe jelly prints all the time. So this wee spatula, not spatula, palette knife. That's a great wee find I'm glad I picked that up to use it because that makes some really good lines and I think as well it's not just about using one item to make a line using different items to make the line make the line adds variety so this is gold heavy body with yellow high flow and some glazing fluid so I am trying to implement a little bit of a change on the painting because the layers have been quite similar so the gold itself doesn't it's quite transparent and it's not a very vibrant color which is why i added the yellow to it trying to use this like a you know the catalyst wedges they use you know that's something to look at more with the jelly plate actually those kind of um sweeping motions they make with catalyst wedges that could be quite interesting. So these are just more stencils that I made with the acetate sheets that I got 10, 12 by 12 inches for £2 in the range. So I do like this. I do feel that with the purple and the yellow, you know, although the blue is the main colour, the purple and the yellow have helped lift it. This I left this in. Um, and I, this as that was chalk pastel, soft pastel, and I also put on a little bit of the water soluble oil pastel. Now, I thought these would lift on to the painting because I'm sure I put glazing fluid on as well, but they didn't, which was surprising. So they maybe just work a lot better at the beginning of the jelly prints before the layers start building up and um, but I left it in just to show you that you don't really see anything it could be because it was white though as well so ah this works okay this is some of the high flow acrylic paint um, but I'm at the stage where I'm looking to tidy up the jelly print so this is still quite What's the word? It's got a lot of brush strokes on it. It's still quite blurred edges. It doesn't give any s solid areas to the jelly print, which is what I was looking for. I tend to gravitate to having all the sort of flamboyancy and the experimental stuff and the messiness. And then what I do is I try and create a sort of frame of a solid colour. Um, and in this case, it hasn't really, that's not really happened. So what I'm doing here is I'm using dark grey. That was black and white paint with glazing medium. So that was one of my cake decorating spatulas, a palette knife. And I also use a sheet of paper to lift some of it off as well. 
because what I wanted here was just to give some sketchiness, I suppose. I didn't want to use black directly. So that was the sheet of paper and now this is what was left on it that's came across. I think I'm struggling to bring life to it and that's how it feels. So this is just a paintbrush and heavy body white acrylic paint. Look at, I'm, I'm trying to tell myself they are not horseshoe shapes when they are exactly horseshoe shapes. I've just put a bit of more of a curve on them. <laughs> Looks cracking though. I actually really like this design. It's very um, mid-century modern, isn't it? I'd have been unlovely. And I've actually not cleaned that jelly plate. No, I did. No, I haven't. Do you know what I did? I turned it over so that I've still got that design that I can use and put it onto another picture. <laughs> so this is just silver. And now what I'm doing is I'm putting stripes in it. Now, I did this in another video with gold. And I thought, let's try this again. Let's see if this can, you know, just add a bit of magic like it did before. And that was me just turning the jelly plate round so that the hand motions are the same on both sides. So whilst this wasn't one of my most favourite um, prints that I've made, it was still nice. It was still useful. It could still be hung up. Um, and also, I did try a lot of new techniques as well. And sometimes it's actually about, you know, it's good to experiment because then when I go, I've used these techniques. So when I go to do my next jelly print, I'm going to have more knowledge so I hope you enjoyed and thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you soon.